Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2014 NFL Draft scouting profiles, and this video is for Clemson wide receiver Sammy Watkins. Watkins leaving Clemson after his junior year. He stands 6'1", a little bit over 200 pounds. Um, we'll get into his size and speed and uh, what I think of that overall package here a little bit later. But, you know, Watkins coming off of you know, a very, his last college performance, a 16-catch performance in the Orange Bowl against Ohio State. But as you guys know, you know, a resume is more built on an entire body of work rather than one game. But I thought that game was a good snapshot um, of – the work Sammy Watkins did at Clemson, you know, a career at Clemson that started with a bang in his freshman year, over 80 catches, over 1,200 yards, and 12 touchdowns in his freshman year. So right from word one, Sammy Watkins was a well-known commodity for college football fans. He stumbled a little bit in his sophomore year after being suspended for the first two games, but he comes back his junior year and is dominant again. Over 100 catches, over 1,400 yards receiving, and 12 touchdowns. And the best way I can describe Sammy Watkins is he's a crafty receiver with gliding speed. And I'll get to what I mean with the gliding speed in a second. But, you know, you think of a crafty receiver, and all of a sudden people think of slow. Well, Sammy Watkins isn't slow by any means. But what he does do very well is the little things that make receivers very good and very valuable in the NFL. He uses his hands well at the line of scrimmage when he's getting uh, press coverage. He also finds that little spot in the zone to sit and catch the football. He's a guy that's good at all, at all three levels in the passing game. I mean, Clemson, if you watch them, they run a very diverse passing offense. They called on Watkins to catch those um, you know those screen passes all right they also called on Watkins to catch a lot of balls again where he sat uh, in the in the intermediate area to catch balls against zones and of course what he's probably most well known for is taking the top off a of defense and really have that gliding speed that I mentioned before and a lot of times we get very caught up in a 40 time Watkins is projected to run between a four four five and a four, and a four five flat. And that's plenty fast enough to be an effective receiver in the NFL, of course. Maybe not the top end speed, straight line speed, that is. This is a guy that's very good in short spaces. You've seen him on screen passes make guys miss uh, in, in short proximity. And again, on those deep routes, he's one of these guys that doesn't look like he's running fast, but you never see anyone catch him from behind. And you very rarely can see a guy stay with him, at least in college, on that go route. So um, th those are, the to me, some of the major attributes of a guy like a Sammy Watkins. He's not the ideal height and ideal weight of a stud number one receiver in the NFL. Um, but there are a lot of guys that I could rattle off that maybe don't have the ideal height, speed, and weight, but have been extremely good receivers in the NFL. Uh, I guess the difference between ranking Watkins, you know, the 10th or 11th best player in this class, or the third, fourth, or fifth best player in this class is if you think he can be that stud number one wide receiver. And I happen to think he can be that. So that's why I have him as my top rated receiver in this draft. And the, I flop between the fifth and sixth best player in the draft overall. I think he can be that number one receiver at the next level. And um, again, it's because of his versatility. He can play in virtually any scheme. And, and also... Uh, because of the fact that, you know, look, this is a guy who was tremendously productive in college, and I weigh that, I think, a little bit higher than everyone else. Now, if he had a big deficiency in his game where he dropped a lot of passes or uh, he didn't run routes well, this is a guy who runs solid routes, again, has run them at all three levels in college, um, and a guy that I think is going to be productive at the next level. And if you're a team that runs a dynamic offense, different sets, bubble screens, um, things of that nature, Sammy Watkins is a guy they should look to add. Again, I'm not too caught up in the fact that he's not 6'3", 220. Uh, I rank him ahead of Mike Evans because I think he's a lot more polished uh, than a Mike Evans is at this point in time. So that's the guy he's usually compared to in this draft. But that's my take on Sammy Watkins, the wide receiver again from Clemson, leaving after his junior year on the heels of that excellent Orange Bowl performance versus Ohio State. Guys, let me know what you think of Watkins. Do you want your team to land him? Um, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm doing this these profiles, as you'll see from the playlist here, on a whole multitude of prospects for the draft. And I'm covering the offseason wall-to-wall. -wall. So 
Be sure to subscribe. It's totally free. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.